you know, they like, uh, they remember me from the movie The Wrestler, and, you know, they remembered my skills at the Ritos commercial, which was pretty cool. <laughs> and they came over and were hanging with me and bullshitting me, and I was like, this is pretty cool. I got to tell you guys something. You know, how, you know how I knew I made it outside of wrestling? When I auditioned for Men in Black 3, I did not get the role in Men in Black 3, but when I auditioned for Men in Black 3 in Manhattan, when freaking Will Smith came up to me and looked me in the face and gave me a double take during my reading of my lines and said, you're the, you're the Skittles guy. That was fucking kick-ass, man. <laughs> to, me, to me, that was the epitome of my fucking career. I, I, Will Smith recognized me and popped for me. Uh, you should cool. You should have said, you're the nightmare of my street guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Will Smith now. You know, I, was, I wasn't much of a fan, but I was football. I'm, oh, I'm a weird to Will Smith man, man. I'm a fucking hell. He's a fresh prince, you know. So, um, so just, Nick, did you have any la any last questions? Uh, no, I think that was about it. What about you, JT? This guy's covered about anything. Um, actually, I got one question for you. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? Um, on Broadway, fucking singing Sinatra hits. I don't know. Oh, Come Jesus on. Christ. <laughs> I expect to see you there singing Sinatra. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're going to see me singing Sinatra. You might see me singing Black Sabbath. Yeah, that uh, I believe. Uh, yeah. You might see me singing, I want to fuck you up. Yeah. I, I, fuck I believe the Sinatra singing as much as I believe that he can put his hair in a ponytail and put glasses on and not be noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. I'll tell you one thing you guys don't know about Andrew Anderson. Andrew Anderson can croon. I can sing. I can sing. I can sing. And you, I, you know, know, I might call you out on it. I'm going to... Kevin Sullivan. Kevin Sullivan. Shelton Benjamin. I, I'm, I'm, you know I'm I a couple of tables over from you in a big event. I might there call you, you out. Let's crank some music. Yeah. Kevin Sullivan and Shelton Benjamin will tell you. The, the boy can sing. You know who else can sing? Shelton fucking can sing. That man can sing. He's got a great fucking voice. You think you so, guys will be together at the big event? You could do a duet for us. Yeah, <laughs> you know he actually he, he sang um he sang that song that was um uh what is what's the name of the song uh from uh it was just recently covered it was a uh, um a Leonard Skinner song simple a simple simple uh was it a simple simple plan or a simple something like that or whatever the song was but but Shelton sang it at a karaoke bar and I was like fuck. Damn. This is fucking good. I'm going to have to one-up him. So we did Space Trucking by Deep Purple, and I did all the fucking I know. And he was like, damn. <laughs> so Kevin Sullivan goes, the two of them are like Dusty. He goes, the two of them are like Dusty Rose. You know, Dusty fucking, he goes, you look at him, you, you just think he's a fucking juker and jiver, but when he gets behind that microphone, that boy could sing. Well, from you know? what I've read in the past, especially from Rick Flair's books, you put a couple of drinks in Dusty, he does a lot of things. Yeah, Dusty does a lot of things. Listen, put a couple of drinks in me, I do a lot of things, too. <laughs> you know? So but, uh, put a couple I, I, of, I, I do want to thank you for coming on the show, though, because we got we're, we're listen, running out of you guys. You guys have been trying to get me on the show for a while. I know, I know. It's but, like the circus came to town with Anderson, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we went into overtime. We're we're about almost twenty minutes into overtime, so it's gonna be a two part show. Uh, Excellent. I'll definitely tag you in both parts. Uh, we also uh, on by, on behalf of the whole staff. I uh, want to wish you on your uh, a happy birthday and your um, upcoming birthday. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I'm going to be fucking 45 years old. And I'm fucking old, man. I got 45. one foot in the grave. You're, you're, only foot five, you're, you're only five years older than I am. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I got one foot in the grave and one up my ass. Right <laughs> you're only 18 years older than me, bro. Oh, Don't worry. Jesus. Thanks, pal. Rub it in, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. We'll see you November 8th at the big event. That's it. I'll see you November 8th. Chili yes. Theater also. Don't forget, go to ChiliTheater.com. Come support your wrestlers. Come support your actors and rock stars. TV, movie memorabilia. Have fun, okay? I love you guys. Thank All you right, for take care, yourself. Andrew. Have a good one, Andrew. Sing us a song. <laughs> that was Andrew Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, you uh, obviously know, we went into uh, overtime. Uh, we started our pre-recording about four minutes before the end of the first show. And this will be uploaded immediately after we go off the air here. Uh, we like to thank, again, Andrew Anderson for coming on the air. We like to thank JCW and Ricky O, our sponsors, Espositos and Jersey Championship Wrestling. We like to, uh, I, I like to personally thank my crew here. I mean, that was a great show. It's a two-part show. It's kind of like uh, 
old school, uh, you know, back in the day when we were all showed up at the same time, we used to we used to have a lot of these. I feel like I'm. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird that it's been like five or six months since we've all been on the show. So I mean, it's been yeah, it's been interesting. Let's get a a live look in. It's getting very interesting in Dallas. The New York Giants just score a scored, touchdown. They just scored a touchdown. Odell Beckham Jr. Um, they're probably going to go for the extra point right here to make it a twenty-eight twenty-one game. Dallas on top with still five and a half minutes remaining. So uh, it should. This guy has a soccer name, Beckham Jr. Yeah, he sounds like a soccer player. He's like he either should be uh, on the American team or the Canadian team, or or the the UK team, one or the other. He just he just sounds like a soccer player. But nevertheless, he did touch touchdown. Extra point is good. It's twenty eight twenty one five twenty eight left in the fourth quarter, uh, and Dallas will be receiving the kickoff. Uh, you know, pending any trickery. My prediction, unlike Damage 365 Radio, there will be no overtime in this game. No. You, you do know that if it ends in, uh, at the overtime, that uh, it's a tie, right? Yes. <laughs> no overtime. <laughs> no double uh, The New York fans are going to hate me. Dallas kicks a field goal here, ends the game over. And That's what's going to happen. I called, I called the Dallas 10-point victory before the game started. Oof. So. Uh, and Danny DeMonto goes to sleep happy. Oh, my God. Unfreaking believable. <laughs> Can't let that happen. All right, we need to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I have a, a date with furniture shopping tonight. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank everybody again that I thanked earlier. I'm going to thank them as a whole. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank Nick. Thank JT. Thank all the fans out there. Thank Spreaker. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, help control the nitwit population, and please have your friends spayed or neutered. Thank you for listening to episode number 47. Next week on the show, we will have ECW original and former tag team champion Pitbull number one. Gary Wolf will join us, the man who will be also with us November 8th at the big event. Also, next week, next Friday in Union, New Jersey, Jersey Championship Wrestling will be holding their show in the Union Elks Lodge. And at the Damage 365 radio table will be... Former, formerly known as Brodus Clay, now going by the name of Monstrous BC. He will be at the Damage Table. So come on down to see Jersey Championship Wrestling. Brodus Clay, Damage 365, we'll all be together, all be happy, and uh, striving for the best. So ladies and gentlemen, you have a great weekend. <laughs>